Today I'll show you how to use the Total Today functions properly. Let's begin with the most common use of Total Today calculations, Total Year to Date. The syntax is Total YTD consisting of two key components. Firstly, we have the expression to calculate, and this can be a sum, count, or any other calculation you require. Secondly, the date component, which should correspond to the date column from your table. Speaking of date table, when it comes to a comprehensive date table, you're in luck. Click on the banner displayed now to discover everything you need to know about creating a date table or even access the one that I'm using for this tutorial. Let's return to our task. For month to date and quarter to date calculations, you'll employ similar functions by simply adjusting the formulas to total MTD or total QTD respective. You might be wondering, why does it display a blank result? The answer is rather straightforward. A total to date function calculates the total for the last available period. In this case, the date table I'm using includes dates for the entire year up to December 31st, 2024. Consequently, when the total to month date attempts to calculate the total for the month, it does it for the month of December, for which there is no data available, thus returning blank. To work around this, there are two methods you can employ. The first approach involves adding slices to filter your dates. However, this method comes with a drawback. Each additional visual added to your report can impact its performance. As you may be aware, Microsoft recommends you limit the number of visuals to only what's necessary for optimal performance. This brings us to the second method, which I highly recommend. Utilizing the calculate function, you can apply a filter specifying that the total to date should be calculated when the date in the date table matches today's date. By implementing this method, the total to date calculation will consistently reflect the current year, month or quarter, regardless of any selections made in the slices. Indeed, the options for filtering by date extend beyond what we've discussed today. You can also utilize functions such as same period last year, dates between and dates in period. In the upcoming video, I'll walk you through each of these methods, demonstrating how they function and how best to implement them in your analysis. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing and activating the notification bell for updates on future videos. I'm Stellian, signing off, until next time. Cheerio!